Alright, the time to install Linux on Android is here now and today I'm going to tell you how you can do that. So let's get started. Now the process requires only one condition. You must have a phone which is up to date which means you have to update your phone, install all the software updates and then once you have the latest or the greatest version of Android which your mobile company provides then we can start the process. The first thing is to just enable developer mode and most of you already know how to do that but let me just narrate that for you. You have to go to settings about phone and tap the build number seven times. Then you will receive a notification and you might be asked to enter your password or fingerprint. After that you have to scroll down and search for Linux development mode or something like that because different companies different names for different features. That's the thing I learned. I believe it should be Linux development environment and once you're on that page just turn the slider on. It's gonna be experimental because it was recently released by Google as a gift for Linux users of 2025 for new year. So just turn on it and then you will find a launcher for the new terminal app. Just open it and a new application or window will prompt you to install the terminal app. It should be around 500 MB of data so you will have to wait a little but when that completes the terminal application will open and you will find yourself in a familiar environment. Now you might be thinking like you have the terminal, you have the Linux, what else you need to do, why the video is so damn long? Well, we're not done yet. In order to properly install Linux as a Linux development environment, we need to install SSH which would allow us into any remote machine. Well, you must think about it like it's a necessary thing you need to install. So first, just think about it like the Linux distribution on your Android is Debian. So it is going to use apt window, apt package management. If you are new to Linux, then just type sudo apt update. Yep, that's it. That is a command which will update all the drivers and codecs you have. Like it's like a one click command which will install and update all the drivers with one command. Yep, that is the power of Linux. Then you have to type sudo apt install ssh and then y or enter to confirm the installation. Now you can use ssh exactly as you would on a full blown Linux desktop and you can easily connect to Android with your Linux PC or Windows PC because it might be able to give you proper Linux distribution. Now that's not the only thing. If you have a powerful mobile like these days Mobile phones have 6GB, 8GB, 16GB RAMs, literally man. It was once a dream for me to have a 6GB RAM laptop. And now, an average mobile phone has 8GB RAM. So yep, you can easily install any Linux distribution with a desktop environment like GNOME or KDE. Just think of it as a full-blown Linux PC setup on your mobile. All you need is a keyboard and mouse. Or if you are a Samsung user or a Google Pixel user or a Moto user then you might not even need that because they have some extra features. Yep. Now I was wondering like do you want to install a proper Linux distribution like you have Debian Linux for sure. Do you want a proper desktop environment? Well then let's get started shall we? But let me just ask you one thing like what is your reason to install Linux on Android? Well you might want to learn about Linux from your Android mobile phone or maybe you want to try some development applications and stuff like that or you must just want to explore the possibilities of Linux on Android. Well, on either case, let me just tell you one thing. Linux is like a rabbit hole. Like, it's like not a cancer, but an addiction. Once you enter the world of Linux, you will not be able to get out of it. Because Linux is better, faster, simpler, and more beautiful for business, and more secure than Windows or Android altogether. So, yep, the risk is in your hands. And even, even I am addicted with Linux as well, that is why the whole channel is here. But yeah, let's just start with the process, shall we? Yep. Now the first thing is, you need to type uname-a which is like a command to let you know that you are on a proper Linux kernel. So if you have, like if you get confirmed, then you need to type sudo apt update and sorry for the background noise, but leaving that. Then you have to type the following commands and enter them. That will install the whole GNOME on your Linux terminal or the Linux environment, okay? And then you have to just type the following commands. Well, you will get a proper command or 
like all the commands in the description and a text file so don't worry about it and you have to just you know like type the following commands and until you are done then you have to enter nano command which is like an editor and then you have to copy and paste a set of commands and rules there and then make it executable and then launch the vnc server well you know it's like once you have a proper linux or linux system or a virtual environment then you can install any desktop on your well linux android phone <sighs> now the thing is well it is very complicated and it takes a hell lot of time just to start the linux desktop on phone because as you know it is right now experimental well you see i have the basic commands but i suggest you to go on with like after installing the whole linux system on your android then i want you to in, you know watch a proper video from youtube because i have not tried it practically yet that is the truth yep can you find such an honest youtuber in the world of linux well most of the youtubers are honest and honestly i have not yet tried it because i don't have the latest version of android it like there's an there's a requirement like you must have the latest or the greatest version of android 15 or 16 may like man but when i searched on youtube or you know asked chat gpt or gemini then they told me that approx 60 to 80 percent of the mobile who were like released in the last five years have already obtained android 15 updates so you might not to worry about that just update it to the latest version now the thing is you see i've linked the tutorial video in the description and i don't know the youtuber or any person who is in that video or who is teaching it but i just provided the video because i thought it would be the most easier and best video to let you know how to do that because yes i am a linux enthusiast but i've never installed linux on an android because the truth is i don't have that powerful android mobile or tablet all my android phones have like 4 gb of ram and in order to do this you must have 6 gb ram or more that's it and now with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video and yes the electricity is gone yep well then i'll meet you next video until then i'm on signing out well this was a video just to let you know how you can install linux on android because man this might be the future of pcs because i believe like from the very beginning that android can take over windows and recently when google sort of announced that they are going to replace chrome os with android that means that android is stepping its foot in the world of pcs yes we have prime os bliss os or phoenix os or others like bliss os is literally the closest approach but still official android version for pcs or tablets like with a proper setup that is something i'm truly excited about and with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel and i'll meet you in the next video till then i'm um signing off yep Bye-bye.